Hi chaps and chapesses, and this week we are going to talk about the Semper Squid. So I was recently at the European Sport Fishing Show and I caught up with fly tire Rupert Harvey, who I have admired for a long time. And this pattern of his um, is one which I have wanted in my collection for a little while. So I cornered him and I asked him to show us how to tie it. So without further ado, here is Rupert tying the Semper Squid. SL12 mm -hmm. um, and then we've got some tan northern bucktail we've got some pink saddles some tan saddles some lovely creed that I just got today and then we've got uh, some shrimp eyes from DNA shrimp eyes from funky fly time I've got some nice tan marabou pink marabou and bugaboo which uh, shorter fatter fibers to give it a bit of bulk but not uh, thin and whiskey so you get okay. the bleeding. Oh, and uh, some Mirage flash bit. Don't be afraid, won't let you fall, girl. Don't be afraid, won't let you fall, girl. That was bucktail there. Bucktail. Yeah, and then it's alternating pink and uh, tan. Pink on the bottom, tan on the top. Saddles. And all laid inside. So just inside, yeah, and just slightly towards the bottom of the hook. So not quite uh, uh, hard to see, maybe, but no, kind of okay. tented from the bottom. And then uh, same again, but tented over the top. So how many hackles is that in total? Mate? That's eight of eight in total. Four, four of the pale pink, four of the tan. That's an interesting technique. Gets it even every time. Like so the eyes that's the eyes going in, yeah. Use the natural curve of the uh, tour of the Rissa. <laughs> Just to adjust it, yeah. Stops it getting pulled down or left or right or. Some super glue base there. If you use a thin one, it actually soaks into the thread down to the shank pretty well. So you just pull that material back. Yeah, yeah. just uh, stop it getting trapped underneath itself when you when you wrap. Ready, 
Uh, it's 210 Danville flat wax. I use it for all my saltwater flies, like, um, it's pretty much um, does everything that I need. For some reason I always do the first one butt first, I don't know why, just how I do it, and then the rest I do all tips, and uh, no idea why, it's just, just the way I do it. But again, because I need the shorter fibers to the front. Be careful of this long marabou fouling, but that really, the bugaboo really helps because it's shorter and slightly stiffer and it doesn't quite reach the hook. It looks very dense. Yeah, it doesn't quite reach the hook point either, so, so it doesn't foul. Doesn't doesn't wrap around yet. And it helps help support these ones as the this uh, marabou bloods. So yeah. Rupert, that's awesome. Thank catch you so your much. GT. It'll catch you a GT. Thank you very much indeed.